So we've just completed about a two-week overview introduction. The idea being that I want you to see the forests because we're going to be working in the trees a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So I want you to see where things are, how they relate. So what do we do? We start with systems of simultaneous equations, right? And you've seen how these things are used in almost everything that we do, right? And from systems of simultaneous equations based on what we see in systems of simultaneous equations. We define matrices and matrix multiplication, right? Because we can represent a system of simultaneous equations as a matrix equation and solve by an inverse matrix. Okay? So that's the main thrust of what I hope you understand and what you've seen. Okay? So this builds here. Then we have um, vectors. Okay? Now you don't need systems of equations or matrices to understand vectors. It's totally independent. Okay, so if you didn't understand something here, it doesn't mean you don't understand how to combine i and j vectors, okay? And that's something I just handed back, and most of you did quite well on that, and a couple of things maybe need a little adjustment that uh, look pretty good, right? <coughs> but then, vectors combined with matrices allow us to answer questions about vectors, right? So I'm just going to say questions about vectors. Okay, so between matrices and vectors, we can represent questions about vectors as matrices, right? So you kind of have a little interplay here. Matrices inform vectors, vectors feed into matrices and give us other stuff, okay? Um, then we have transformations, okay? And transformations are, can be defined in terms of simultaneous equation, matrices, vectors, and everything, right? So from all this, we get up to the idea of transformations. Okay. And then the idea of vector spaces. Okay. And Well, if we have vectors, we can identify vector spaces, okay? For example, the vector spaces R2 and R3, which consist of like your XY space and your XYZ space, can be represented as vector spaces, right? And of course, vector spaces or what you transform. So we've seen transformations from R2 to R2. We haven't done a lot with R3 because it's just more computationally intensive. There are things that happen in R3 that don't have direct analogs to what happened in R2. But then in R4, R5, up to R whatever, you pretty much have an analog with R3 of everything that could possibly happen. Okay? Yeah, they're just more of it in bigger spaces. So anything, if you learn everything we can do in R3, then you can pretty much do it in R14. You just got bigger matrices and longer vectors. Okay? Um, and then as one application of all this, we looked at eigenvalues and eigenvectors, right?
So once you understand transformations, you can understand what eigenvalues or what eigenvectors are and eigenvalues. Okay. Um, and of course, if you've got the whole idea of eigenvalues and eigenvectors, as it turns out, that gives you very convenient matrices within which you can represent those transformations. So you know all this stuff interrelates throughout the entire course. Okay. And there's only one topic that we haven't covered, and we'll kind of piece away at that a little bit each day. It's fairly simple. Uh, it's inner product spaces, which are special kinds of vector spaces that you can measure things on. Now the vector space R2 and R3 are inner product spaces, but they're vector spaces that aren't. They're vector spaces where you don't necessarily have a good concept of angle. Although you can kind of generalize the concept of angle. Yeah, well, we'll see how that works out. You know, we got a whole semester to play with these ideas, right? So we're going to get into the book, starting with chapter one, and start working. You'll find that you already understand a good bit of chapters one and two, and chapter three is pretty easy. After that, save your strength, because it does get more challenging, okay? So you want to build the beginning very, very carefully. Make sure you understand everything and everything that we've done that relates to chapters one, two, and three very, very well so you can build on it. Okay?